and he'd tell them in a minute that the Lord ain't here by 12.30, he ain't coming. <laughs> uh, we don't have a grievance in the next 15 minutes. We're going to vote. I think we've heard quite a bit. Uh, so, Mr. Page, if you will. And I'm going to recognize uh, Reverend Dupar. You can approach after that. Then uh, Reverend uh, Dr. Lou Howard after that. Reverend Howard. <laughs> Thank you, man. Anybody else who wants to speak on this issue? <laughs> Line up, and then we're going to shut it down, and we're going to vote. Mr. Gorey, I see your hand up, yeah. and we're going to let Mr. Silva close out. Okay. Give attention to the podium, Mr. Joseph Page. Good afternoon. Thank you, Mr. Mr. Lawson. My name is Joseph Page, and I live at 617 Greenfield Drive in Acadian Village, and I've lived there for 37 years. Uh, I am a charter member of Concerned Citizens for Acadian Village. Myself and three other people organized that group and had it chartered with the state of Louisiana. It has been our opinion since we organized in the mid-80s that we needed commercial development for that community. I also recognize the fact that, and I've had the opportunity to look up close and personal the work that has gone into this project that's before you now. I know that the information that was gathered before they made the recommendation for mixed use, they did in fact get a great deal of input from the people who live in that community. That's a fact that has not been brought out here. The people who put together the proposal for us did in fact get significant information from the people who live in that community, who lived in that community for the last 30 years, and they support mixed use. I stand before you on record that I think mixed use is the best use for that piece of property that we're talking about. My home is less than 1.5 miles from that site. I know that people have been saying for the last 30 years they need commercial outlet, places to have their prescriptions filled, places to do grocery shopping with competitive pricing. That is still a consideration. The other point that has not been made here is that the mixed use of the housing overlay only encompasses six acres of the 14 acres we're talking about. So that leaves the remainder of the property open and available for commercial development. So that's what's before you here, gentlemen. Mixed use, which is recommended by the people who we paid money to make that study and make that recommendation to us. And I ask that you vote in accordance with the mixed use of that property. Reverend Dr. Honorable. 